everybody. Happy Monday. We are in it, beginning the new week. Uh, boy, it was a beautiful weekend though, wasn't it? So back in the groove. And uh, I had a great, great weekend. I was in Costa Mesa and got to do an evening of spirit messages and taught a two-day class. So really had an amazing time there. It was a lot of fun. Good morning, Abano. Nice to see you. Good morning. Oh, fresh coffee too. <laughs> I needed coffee to wake up. It was I was tired this morning. I was like, oh, tired. Good morning, Sean. Sean, thank you for that post. Oh, that was so amazing. Thank you so much. So, Sean was there Friday night. It was really fun. Good morning, Nadia. Nice to see you. Hi, everybody. So, uh, today we're going to talk about getting clear. Good morning, Jerry. Nice to see you. Hi, Joe. Oh, that's good stuff. <laughs> Hi, Connie. Everybody's getting in. This is good. Good morning, Karen. Nice to see you. So, yeah, this weekend was amazing. Uh, we had the demonstration. You know, you do that messages in front of an audience and... There was so much fun and laughter and healing. Um, we got a little gossip from the spirit. Like it was, it was really lovely. It was so um, infectious. I thought, what a great uh, group of people, great group of spirit people. It was a lot of fun. Good morning, Lois. So such a pleasure. And hi, Jody. And the two-day workshop was so much fun. Um, it was intensive. There was a lot of stuff we went through, but goodness gracious, what a great group. They just rolled up their sleeves and, and dove right in. So uh, it was fun. It was beautiful. Happy to be back up here in LA. But today we are going to talk about getting clear. So you know, in our journeys with our life, we we have a lot of roads we can take. There's a lot of paths that you can take, right? You you end up being given a lot of choices, and at times when you're given that choice, you can get a little confused. You may not know what what path to take, what road is the best road for you. So, in this this stuff that we go through, uh, if we're stressed out or worried, you know, that thought process is going to get cloud, uh, more and more cloudy. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning, Juanita. So we have to get clear, you know, getting clear on what it is you want, not just kind of going in a direction. And then when you get there, deciding that's not really what you wanted, right? So getting clear before you start that path will really help keep you in a line in alignment with what is right for you what feels good for you because again even if you have the best job or a lot of money or um, you live in a great area if there's other factors that are not feeling great other factors that are not in alignment you're never really gonna feel fully at peace or fully balanced right we have to be clear on what it is we want. Don't just blindly go for something that you're not really sure that once you get it, it's going to be what you want. How many times have you gone for something and when you did get it, it really wasn't what you wanted? It wasn't what you thought. It wasn't, you know, what you thought it would be. Am I right? So it's, it's time for us to say, you know, let me sort out what I want before I get there. <laughs> and, and a way to do that is to really be honest with yourself. Really be truly honest. Do you want to be around a lot of people or do you want to be around a few people? Do you want to work with people or do you just kind of want to work maybe in technology? Do you want to live in a different place or are you happy with where you live? Are you happy with the relationship you're in or do you want a relationship? Do you want a family? All of these things come into play. But when we can live our life authentically, 
bringing in those things that make us feel fulfilled, then we're in alignment. <coughs> I swallowed wrong. I must need coffee. <laughs> mm. So just asking yourself those tough questions, you know, they seem like they'd be easy questions, right? Well, what do you want? I mean, how it can end up being a really tough question when you think about it. What do you want? So being truthful, taking a step back, dissecting it piece by piece so that when you build your life, you're building it only with the pieces that feel good. You know, you know, working in a way that is right. About a year ago, I've had the center for about a year now. Good morning, Tina. And about a year ago, I said, you know, I'm going to do things that feel right for me. I don't want to do things because A, it will be bigger. A, someone else may see me. A, B, this or that. I wanted to do things that felt right in my soul. And along that way, you have to say no to some things, right? Good morning, Gordon. Oh, yes, kisses to Lisa too, right? Um, but along that way, then you have to start saying no. You know that word, everybody. Say it with me. No. I know we all have a hard time saying it. But you have to say no to things that no longer fit with what you want, that are no longer in alignment. And... And this way you're truthful to yourself. When you're truthful to you, your soul, yourself, your higher self, I'll tell you what, you can have less yet feel like you have so much more, right? Because you're clear on what you want, okay? So there you go. Oh, Erica, I'm glad you need to hear it. See, and it's just trusting too. There is this this trust factor. I, you know, I know you're worried with each of us, right? We're worried do I, if I make the wrong choice. All right. All right. Let's say you make the wrong choice. It happens. It happens. There's a few people out there I dated that I said, oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> There's a few people I trusted. I said, mm, that wasn't so smart, Colbs. <laughs> All right. You make a mistake. Ah, you learn from it right? That's what we're supposed to do. We learn from it. Maybe the universe put it in our way as a lesson, but maybe there's also a way to, to show us so clearly what we don't want. You know, because when you see what you don't want, what does it show you? What you do want. So it's really not that bad. Uh, good morning, Susan. And I say, you know, even when I teach students, I say, what's your worst case scenario? Worst case scenario is that your sitter goes, no, I have no clue what you're talking about. That's your worst case scenario. Huh? Okay. So when we are able to face our worst case scenarios, when we're able to face those and surrender and let go, it actually gives us power and empowerment to be very clear on what we do want. Because it helps remove that fear that also gets in our way. You know, a lot of times it's hard to get clear when fear is really getting in there and, and you know, getting its little hands all up in there. So when we can, good morning, Rachel. Hi, Janice. When we can remove the fear, remove that doubt, remove the worry, um, remove the comfort, right? You, you got to be a little uncomfortable. Change change, you know, it's going to test you a little bit. So that's okay. That's right. You have to kiss a lot of frogs. That's right. Jody, I always say everyone is Mr. Wrong till you find Mr. Right. <laughs> All right. So how do you get clear? Let, let's just go over this real quick. How do you get clear? Well, one is you have to know you. You got to know who you are. You got to know what makes you click, what makes you tick, what makes your heart go pitter-patter, what makes you uh, feel inspired, what are you interested in. So that takes some time rather than getting distracted by outside factors, you have to go inwards and say, what do I like? Do I like writing? Do I enjoy doodling? Do I like coloring? Do I like putting colors together? Do I enjoy building? Do I enjoy talking to people? Do I enjoy helping people? Do I enjoy using my hands to heal? Whether that's massage, whether that's 
um, Reiki, uh, you know, ask yourself, who are you? You know, the more you know who you are, the more clear you can be on your path, right? The other thing too is you have to kind of have some quiet time with you. Quiet time, oh, I know. <laughs> we all allow ourselves to get sidetracked by distractions because when we are with ourselves and in that quiet space and in that quiet time, you know, we then have to allow ourselves to be very open and honest. What are some things about you you want to improve on? You know, it is about loving yourself completely, but we all have stuff that I'm sure we would like to improve on, right? I know I do, and, and I try, and I work on it, but at the same time, I also have to kind of have that place where I give myself a pat on the back for the things that I do feel good about. So it's that balance. Hi, Jeannie. Look at things that you are proud of. Look at things that make you feel good. Look at things that make you different. Look at the things that you would like to improve on a soul level, on a personal level, you know? So being very clear about who you are and what you want, what you're good at naturally, and how can that help you move forward? How does that life look for you? That allows you to then start putting those blocks in place. And then, if fear gets all up in there, you got to kind of wiggle that out. You got to wiggle that out. And the way to wiggle that out is to go back to those things that I said, what makes you feel good about you, and focus on those things. Or focus on the energy you're going to give someone else. The minute you do that, you'll actually start to pull that fear away. And at the end of the day, even when you're nervous making choices and you're scared about your future and you're scared about making decisions, it's okay to be nervous. It's okay to be afraid. Just know that there are times when your courage must trump your fear, right? Must supersede your fear. And when you can almost logically do that, it actually really helps. So there you go. That is your coffee with Colby and your homework for today about getting clear and being clear on your path. So now today, super, super exciting day. It starts the World Summit with Lisa Williams. This is amazing. Today is the day it begins. It is master teachers all around the world teaching the material uh, that Lisa has set up. So she teaches it and all these students embark. Each master teacher that was chosen will then be a part and be a mentor to the students. So this is going to be, thank you, Erica. This is going to be so much fun. Uh, I am really looking forward to it. LA has rocked it this year. We, we are going to have a blast. Um, I knew, do know that they are allowing applications. They're still allowing them. You know, you'd have to get caught up on your homework. So if you've been thinking about the summit, if it's been on the back of your mind and you're saying, hey, do not delay. Get yourself an application. Submit it. Pick your master teacher, you know, and really allow yourself that opportunity to learn and grow and do it, you know. Um, get out there, get in there. Just, yes, it's just fabulous, fabulous. It is tough. I mean, there's a lot to it. You, you're going to get triggered. You're going to grow. You're going to work through some stuff. But I'll tell you what, if this is something you have thought about doing, now is your time for sure. They only offer this like once a year and sometimes it's different summit. So get out there and do it. Okay, I have an exciting uh, day today. Um, wish me luck, everybody. It's a big day, so wish me some luck, please. And also, on this week with Live with Colby Rebel, it's just me. But I have to tell you, I have to tell you, especially since Gordon is watching, Tony Stockwell will be on the show next week. So, whoo! <laughs> Yay! I'm so excited to have Tony on. He is so much fun. So really looking forward to having him on. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. All right. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you for all the luck. My fingers are crossed. Um, also surrendering to the universe. And let's do some manifesting, shall we? 
All right, have a great Monday. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.